Hey everyone, welcome to SQL interview series of Data Millennials. I am Atul and we are going to write a query to get rows value a comma separated list based on the other value or based on the other columns which has the same value. So suppose you have a list of students and their grades in a table and what you need to do is that based on the grade or you have to group the grade and get all of the students that have the same grade. So you can see here grade A and student 1, student 2, all of these students are separated by a comma. So the students names are separated by comma and you have to get all of the students which have the same grade in a single row value. So to do that what we can do is that we can use the group concatenate function in SQL. So the group concatenate function in SQL is used to concatenate data from multiple rows into one field. This is an aggregate group by function which returns a string value and if the group contains any null values then it will always return null. So we have to make sure that the row value which we are concatenating with a comma should not be null. So let's go to our SQL workbench and write query for this. So for this we will be using the student table. So let's see the table first. Select star from SQL interview dot student. Now what we have to do is that we have to group the grade and get all of these students which is in the same grade into a single row cell. So what we can do is that we can simply write select grade comma. We will use the group concatenate function. And in this we will put the column name which is student underscore name okay as all students from SQL interview dot student and then we will use the group by clause and we will be grouping it by grade. Now if I run this query you will see that you have distinct grades here and all of those students which have the same grades are getting concatenated here after comma. So this is how you can create a column which will have the rows value separated by comma based on a, another column. If you want to learn more about SQL you can click on the left hand side of this video and if you want to practice more SQL interview questions you can click on the right hand side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.